I hope there, welcome back. In this video, we're just going to be taking a look at my local woods, and by we, I mean myself and Colin. So we should find plenty, two eyes, or two sets of eyes, are always better than one set of eyes. And we're just at the area where I found absolutely hundreds and hundreds of seps. And Colin has just spotted some very nice hedgehog fungus. That's a cracker, huh? What a belter. Yeah. That was a good spot, that, because I just walked past them. I think there's so much inedible stuff, you just get used to walking past it. Good one. We've just come down this ridge here now. We're just off there on the north facing side of the valley. We've found a few horn of plenty. These are really interesting one because they're just black. Trumpet de mort. Trumpet de mort. There's a misleading name that though. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're a good one. Choice and edible. Yeah. Nice. I'll take that one on you, one of the ones. I'm going to go with me lasagna then, eh? Be a nice contrast between the, mm -hmm. the sauce and the trumpets of death. That's what we've got so far. Well, uh, there is a, there's an odd light. See how difficult they are to see amongst all this leaf litter. Nice patch there. Mm -hmm. Some just even further towards it. Yeah, yeah. There's a lovely one there, look at the size of them. See them running down there as well. Man, I didn't even see those ones. There's some more. More over there. Once you get your eye in, they'll just start to stick out. Yeah, yeah. Like. the side's heaving with them, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'm going to put this camera down and see your hand. Colin's just come back from being over there and he's got some winter chanterelles. That's another good find. Yeah. It's a pretty productive site, this. It's a good one. And we'll take a look over and see what they look like in their natural environment. This is Colin in his natural environment. Scratching a bit in the woods. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yep. Got the one there. God, they're difficult to see, aren't they? A few more popping up. See them there, you know. The monks are leaf litter. Yep. I don't even. A lot of the leaves are off now, like. I think they are. Oh. See down there. Yeah, there's some down here as well. Just starting to come up. Yeah, good one. Another one there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that matches in with the leaf. Oh. As you see, once you get your eye in, it makes it a lot easier to hone a plenty there now. Oh, oh that's good. There's, there's one loads down of there as stacks well. down there, like you can see them all. We'll cut one back down there. Uh -huh. Good. That's Very good. Spot, yeah. I knew this would be a good spot. We came down here a few years ago and there was no buzzer. Nothing. Nothing. That's the thing, you've just got to hit it right. And then once you once you know, look at them there, man. Oh, that was that's where I was standing. Uh -huh. I didn't even see them. Yeah. Beautiful. This is the horn of plenty in its natural environment. They are absolutely beautiful. Lovely. More up there. Down here. All over this bank side, really. It's a very good bank side for us. And the trees we've got here are a mixture of beech and oak, by the looks of it, and a few silver birch as well. Okay, so we're just back to the car. That's what we've got. The winter chanterelles were actually picked by Colin yesterday, but apart from that, we've got a load of corn of plenty. That's the black ones. And then we've got a load of really nice looking hedgehog fungus as well. So that is a good collection, really nice edibles. Well, there you go. That was a decent haul. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, share it wherever you want and check out the other videos in this series on my channel. I think they're in the 
I don't know, permaculture, self-sufficiency sort of playlist, gardening and so on. I don't know. Just look on the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.